Welcome back everyone. Today we're in the Giants Editor and I'm Jewel and as you can see I'm on the Jewel's Peaceful Valley map once again and we're going to get started. I'm going to go ahead and probably put a building here for a pharmacy. So that's what I was thinking since it'd be near a store kind of makes sense. So we're going to pick this building uh, because it looks kind of more or less like a pharmacy and we don't really have a whole lot of buildings to pick from that look the part per se and uh i don't want to make any in blender right now maybe later i can always add one but uh i want to mostly focus on my giant setter stuff right now i've made a lot of stuff in uh blender that i'll have on some other things like on other videos later on but right now i want to focus on the map so we're going to go ahead and duplicate this one control d as in dog and we duplicated that one. I had the whole group highlighted. And now I'm going to hit Control B as in boy. And left mouse click, left mouse click. And set it here. And then we'll click off for a second just to, to hopefully everything did good. Alright. So we're going to click on the whole group again. And why does that have three of these? Oh, I know. I, I added some over there. Alright. So, this is the whole group for this one. We can move it at the level we want. Let me see how far back. I want it back a little further. I want you to have to go in there. I want it to have some sort of a park a lot. Something like that, maybe. Yeah. And, let me see. Yeah. I'm trying to decide how far over. <clears throat> That's probably good on that and now we just got to adjust the ground so we're going to hit the sculpt mode and shrink this down while rolling it down with the scroll wheel and we're going to hit control r on the ground where we want it to change to right there and then we can make sure it's on replace and it is make sure this is up opacity hardness and value and we'll just go ahead and get it to this level going to knock it back all around get us a good little area and that should be good right about there I want plenty of room back here something like that and I'm just trying to go over all this middle piece too all right now we're going to smooth this with the right mouse button because it's on smooth as you can see here and I'm just holding down the right mouse button and dragging it around and knocking this down. We, we'll adjust all this later as well. It, it's not necessarily going to stay just like this. So, knock all this down. Alright, so now we have most of that. We've got to back up some because we've got the road here to deal with. And so we got a little bit of a slope. So I'm going to knock bring some more of this out with the replace option to the road and see what happens how does it hit okay so I'm gonna undo it and I'm gonna slope this I think I guess I'll take it some of the way there like that but not all the way and if we bring it up too much let me back off I'm just going to slope it with the smooth here and see how much of a slope that is going into here. Because I don't mind it following the road as long as the road is going to be kind of level. It almost looks level. It's not quite. The road may have to be adjusted. This may, um, either this side's getting lifted up or this side's going to go down later but when i do the road so this may have to be adjusted but for now this is going to say hey this is going to be what it is a pharmacy so i'm going to pick whatever maybe i make a sign later on in blender and then we'll have it be like that now let me see i want enough room to drive around here so i might slide this back some more just a little and then back up a little knock it down just a hair then smooth it 
smooth all that out. Alrighty. So then we'll have a little bit of a parking spot out here. Then we'll have a way to go around. And back here is pretty big, so most likely we may have something else behind here. Especially if we have a, a road. I'm probably going to have a road that's going to be coming beside right here. Coming down a little bit, or it could angle. However I decide to do it. So there may be something on the back side, because there'll be like it's, this is another street. So that may happen, and then I have like little streets that come in there and everything. So now we need to lift the building to where the door is visible fully. So just get yourself where you can. Make sure the whole group is selected. Click on the arrow, lift it up until you think it's good. It's a little bit not in the right spot. Uh, let me see. About right there looks good. Let me see. Yeah. Alright, and I think I'm going to turn it. Let me check the back. Everybody back here look good. Yeah. Okay. All good. I think I'm going to turn the road or this building hmm, a slight bit to be more facing this road equally. And I think that's about right. Um, I could try putting it on a 10 and see if that helps. Okay, that looks about lined up, honestly. Let me try getting this and seeing if it looks lined up. Yeah? That looks pretty square. So, I'm going to leave it there. Now we're going to decide what are we going to paint this. And most likely it's going to be asphalt. And so I'm going to pick the asphalt that I've been using. And you can roll down here and pick it, or you can pick it from clicking on another area that has it already painted down. Uh, so this this case, it's a asphalt alpine. And then put this one add so that it'll paint, put, and then click on terrain detail texture paint mode. And I don't care if it's under the building. I'm going to go and click it on there. And we're just going to take it all the way back. And we'll knock it off around the edges of that where it goes where the hill is. So don't worry about that. We'll fix this road. Don't worry about that either. We'll adjust all that. So and just get every little spot. All right. And now we'll come over here and click Control R over the grass and get the grass texture now. And we'll bring it back down to more of a squared up area. Where it's not climbing up the hill. Somewhere along these lines. And we'll come up to the road. As carefully as possible. It's not wanting to do it. There we go. And we're just going to knock this over. Until we decide that it's good. And we may adjust it. Like I said. All the painting stuff's really going to be done mostly later. I'm mostly focusing on the basics of getting a, a place called into this spot and say, this is this, this is that. Okay, it's basically got this. And we'll adjust it. Some of it will be grass up in here. It won't be all asphalt. Um, there will be places to put flower bushes or whatever the case. Control R back on here if you want to make it go over further. You can just keep adjusting however you see fit. Like so. And over here we're going to click back control R over the grass. Knock it off this hill. You can see how when it slopes and turns. See how that turns. That note, Then you know it's on the hill. When it's angled. And we'll just knock some of that out. See how it's angled. And just come up as far as you can. I might have to turn a little bit. Turn it off. Turn so I can get to this corner. And knock out this corner piece. And we can click back on this side if we need a little piece over here. Or what have you. And basically you're just going to adjust it till you see fit. 
Now, I'm, I'm probably going to have grass on more of these sides, like over here. So it's going to be two ways of entrance. It's going to be one on this side, and you'll be able to come around and go out. And then there'll be parking in between, and what have you, most likely. So, let's get back here and clean this up a bit. Get on the green, control R, knock some of this over. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, we'll be doing most of our paint later. This is just getting me at the basics of my areas defined of where I'm going to have something. Pretty much. Alright, so now we're going to hit save. Let it save. Turn this off. And now we have a pharmacy area. As you can see, that's still up a little bit. But sometimes the asphalt does go up hills. But this part's probably going to, some of it, be either flattened or it'll be grass. So, And then, like I say, we may end up having this changed. But we'll make a road and we may have a, a road come down into this backside. And this backside will be some building of some sort, you know. I have a few ideas of what I want, but we'll see. And I'm going to try to not go past, too much further past some of this. Because uh, I'm going to have, at the end of this dead end, I'm going to start farmland stuff. Like like a, a farm, and then have the fields, and then a farm, and have the fields, and the farm, and have the fields. So I'm going to try not to go too much more past here. The rest of that side is going to be fields. And then there will be still fields off around the other parts. But this little area here, for the most part, it's kind of a big area. But this section here is going to be where I'm putting houses and all the stores and buildings and all that. And uh, a little bit here and down this strip a little bit. But we can put some housing maybe back down here or mostly trees if we want to make it for cutting. And then... We'll put a few businesses along here or whatever. And then the rest is all fields, fields, fields. All around there. Fields, probably. I'm not sure what I'll do here. Fields and, and houses and farms and whatever. And then you'll have some stuff over here uh, where the bowling alley is. I'll make a strip of maybe some sort of businesses near the uh, water for the beachgoers or whatever. But as you can see... It's coming together slowly, you know, and we'll be getting the painting and stuff done um, before too terribly long. But they'll be looking across from one another there so you can get your medicine. And we probably, I don't know if we'll put anything here, up here. We could still put something there. We'll see how it flows and what we got to do. But we'll go, like I said, we could be adding trees in certain spots. Some's going to be grass. Some's going to be planting stuff. We may put some sidewalks. It's just hard to say. But now we've got a pharmacy. And I have to make a sign or something and put there to make the building look different. This same building was used for that other building way over there that has that sign thing. I'll click on it and show you. Uh you see, same building, they just added a sign to it to make it look different. And so, and then this building is the post office area, which is the same building, but it's empty. But I can make it say the post office or something. And then this one will look that way, but I'll have a, like I say, I'll put a pharmacy sign there. So, but as you can see, it's looking good. And hopefully, it won't be too long, we'll be able to start painting and getting decorations and whatever going but I'm trying to get the buildings down that's what I'm focused on right now but I guess we're going to call that episode I know it wasn't a ton of stuff done but like I say I'm not ready to to really get to molding and making it once I get the roads in and settled well and most of the buildings place where I want them then we'll start working on all the little details grass and painting and all that stuff but anyway I guess I'm going to call that an episode, and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on your notification bell if you want to receive a notification every time I post a video. Goodbye, everybody.